if I could go back in a time machine and tell young me some, some advice for the future, I think there's a few things I'd say. And this is stuff I say now to young up and coming academics. One of the things I say is don't be a man pleaser. Uh, don't try to please people so either you can be part of the tribe, so you can be respected by a certain school of academics. Because if you go chasing respect or chasing some sort of validity in a certain camp, ultimately you're going to sell out at some point. Simply follow the strength of your own convictions. Uh, don't be a phony, don't sell out, and don't feel that you need to win the approval of others. And if you, if you don't believe me on that, go read the biography of G.E. Ladd. It should scare the heebie-jeebies out of you. Uh, there are some real good stories in there about being a man pleaser. Uh, the other thing I would say is uh, in terms of your development of your skills, uh, work in the primary languages and the primary sources. You know, get to know them, you know, stop watching Downton Abbey or Blacklist or whatever it is, put them away and, and focus on learning the ancient languages and the primary sources and I wish I'd, I'd done more of that. Uh, as I was developing and, and honing my own skills. Uh, the final thing I, th I think I'd say is th the tendency of, of academic research and writing, uh, it, it can be very dry and very cere cerebral. So you've got to take real measures to keep it spiritually fresh. Uh, because like a, like a cookie that's been left out too long, it is so easy to go stale. And you need to keep it fresh and that's surrounding yourself by good and godly people. Uh, spending time with the Lord in, 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 in prayer and in His Word and having really good fellowship with people as well. And they will keep you grounded, they will keep you rooted uh, down in the things that matter, lest the way you drift off to your own little intellectual island. So those are the three things I think I, w I, w I would emphasize to, to young academics or, or younger people.